Hi, I'm Jenny with Garden Gate Magazine, and today we're going to do some deadheading on a petunia. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this, and one being if you've just got a simple little flower, you might just, um, that's kind of spent, you might just pull that little um, bud right off and give it a toss. But if you do, if you just pull the petals off, you'll get a lot of little seeds. And once your plant starts making seeds, it's not going to bloom as often or, or as much. So we're going to go ahead and deadhead it, and we're going to take off um, all that little stem, seed pot, and all. So I have a couple little tools that I like to use. Um, one, this is my little um, thumb pruner, and for little simple jobs, I can just come along and I go in there just like it's ha like having a better, sharper uh, fingernail, and you just pop it right off. And you'll want to get cl as close as you can to the stem and just snip that right off. And you can do that with your fingernails if you like, but this just makes it a little easier and a little quicker. I also like um, a little ring pruner, and that's just a, um, just a fine detailed uh, small snips that makes it easier to get right in there and go snip, and, and you can get real close. But I would use, you know, don't use a full size pruner because you want to be able to get in there and get real close. Now, um, if I wanted to, um, like in, in this case, my, uh, my petunias are getting a little bit leggy and straggly. So I might go ahead and cut them back um, a third to halfway down. Now I'll, I'll leave those ones with the little blooms on them, but say this stem, I might cut back clear to here and then take out some of those dead branches because uh, then you'll get a lot more branching. You'll slow it down for blooming just a little while, um, but in a few days you'll um, start seeing some branching and you'll get a whole lot more blooms and your petunias will be revived for the rest of the summer.